Welcome to the National Orchid Garden. I'm Siran, and today I'll be bringing you through the newly opened Tropical Mountain Orchiditum. Come and experience going on a trail up a tropical mountain. See the different types of vegetation, from lowland forests all the way up to the high elevation mountain forests. Throughout this trail, you can find a wide range of orchids and other plants. Many of these species are rare or becoming increasingly endangered in the wild. So it's important that we, at the Singapore Botanic Gardens, continue to conserve them. The lowland habitats feature plants from the Neerang forests of Malaysia and the lowland streams of Singapore and the region. Large riverine trees that arch over meandering streams in these moist tropical forests are rich in epiphytic orchid diversity. Mid-elevation orchids and plants from Central and South America can be found here. Explore the large collection of bromeliads, such as air plants, tank bromeliads and pineapples. The Tan Hun Siang Mist House features award-winning orchids and the garden's outstanding hybrids. One thing you shouldn't miss here is Papilunanda Tan Che Yen, which puts Singapore on the world map for orchid growing and is now one of the garden's heritage orchids. The Secret Ravine emulates habitats that can be found in deep, narrow valleys of tropical mountains. These habitats contain some of the richest endemic biodiversity in the world. Some of the terrestrial orchids featured here are the corduroy orchids, swamp orchids and jewel orchids. At the end of the trail is the Semcorp Cool House, which recreates the habitats of high elevation montane forests. Here, you can find one of the largest collections of high elevation montane orchids in Asia. The orchids here come from the mountains of five key geographical regions where the survival of these orchids are being threatened by climate change. As conservation is a key value of the Singapore Botanic Gardens, it was important that the Semcorp Cool House was built with sustainability in mind. The structure of the original Cool House, which opened in 2004, was preserved and incorporated into the overall design. Today, the Cool House is now four times larger than the original Cool House, which means we are able to showcase and conserve even more species. Here's how it's kept cool sustainably. To keep the heat out, the Semcorp Cool House uses spectrally selective glass that reflects heat but lets the light through for the plants to grow. The entire cooling system is designed for efficiency. Only the bottom third of the cool house, where plants and people are, is kept cool. This is achieved by having a system of pipes with chilled water built into the floor, energy efficient air diffusers to supply cool air to the space with plants, and misters to release a fine mist to create a cool and humid environment for the plants to grow. While the bottom third is chilled, hot air is also allowed to naturally rise to the top of the cool house. When the internal temperatures at the roof become higher than the external ambient temperature, vents automatically open and this hot air escapes. Photovoltaic panels harvest solar energy to power the cool house. This saves close to 80 tonnes of carbon dioxide per year, equivalent to about 1,300 seedlings grown over 10 years. These cooling strategies have made it possible to recreate the environment of high elevation montane forests and allow the gardens to conserve more than 1,000 orchid species and hybrids alongside over 150 foliage plant species in the Semcorp Cool House. Come visit us at the Tropical Montane Orchidatum in the Singapore Botanic Gardens to experience the diversity of orchids that can be found in montane forests.